what's up guys my name is jay and thank you for joining me in another of my adobe illustrator tutorials today i have prepared another uh, a simple logo for you uh, this time i have used a trick in adobe illustrator cs5 uh, which uh, enables us to to add a, a gradient to our uh, stroke uh, so uh, this tutorial is a uh, I'm gonna say uh, in, a, in, a, in a gear up uh, because uh, I won't be explaining all the steps uh, only only some new stuff uh, I will be using uh, so uh, I hope you can follow uh, along uh, if, you, if you can't uh, you can ask me uh, a question and I will try uh, to catch up with you and to, to explain uh, uh, as much as I can so uh, I have added a gradient a simple uh, or orange to yellow gradient to our stroke and uh, here uh, with with a trick uh, uh, we can see a shortcut uh, using shift and the uh, up arrow uh, I have uh, increased the stroke uh, to up, up about uh, 100 pixels uh, and I forgot to mention that uh, our initial uh, circle was uh, 100, 100 pixels uh, uh, in diameter and um, when I adding this uh, gradient, uh, keep in mind that it should be uh, uh, a linear type, and uh, with these sliders, uh, you can place them randomly de de depending on the on what shape uh, you would like. So uh, for the next step, I will draw a circle uh, again, a same circle in the middle, uh, like the previous one, and uh, color it in. Uh, in white, uh, just uh, just to add some uh, uh, like like it is uh, hollow, and uh, now I will add uh, a rectangle with uh, 50 by 100 pixels in dimensions, uh, which which will be our tail of uh, of our logo, and uh, you want to make sure you have the smart guides turned on for this, and uh, I will draw a circle, which will hopefully snap. Yes, and uh, uh, w w what I'm basically doing is uh, I'm round rounding these corners uh, just uh, to make it uh, more uh, visually uh, pleasing. Uh, with the uh, with the shape builder tool, uh, we can select everything and uh, delete uh, all the excess uh, material uh, we don't need. Uh, again, by pressing uh, Control and the Y key on your keyboard, uh, you can uh, go into Alpine mode where, where you can uh, precisely see uh, how your paths are aligned. So, uh, what I'm doing here is uh, simply adding a gradient to our uh, new reformed shape uh, just uh, to make it uh, more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, you just need a bit tweaking here, uh, nothing special. And uh, for the next step, uh, uh, you should uh, just uh, you know, duplicate this shape. Control C, Control F. You have uh, uh, hopefully uh, all this on your uh, screen. The, shor the shortcuts I'm using, and with the rotate tool, uh, just rotate everything uh, uh, 180 degrees uh, upwards, and uh, bring it to back. Control X, Control B, and uh, uh, flip it so it has the same direction as the shape uh, underneath. You can just play a bit uh, with again with the with the gradient tool, uh, but uh, this is the least important because we are moving uh, on to what I believe is the hardest part of this tutorial. Uh, so uh, I'll just duplicate this uh, this shape, and uh, with the rotate tool and the shape builder tool, uh, I made this uh, into a leaf, uh, and uh, using this uh, previous gradient, uh, adding uh, a bit green color uh, to make it uh, leafy a bit, and uh, uh, I will just uh, make uh, make two of these, so. Again, uh, Control C, Control F, and uh, uh, rotate it a bit, 
and uh, simply align it uh, uh, to the bottom a bit and uh, uh, just uh, just 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 cut uh, with the shape builder tool uh, cut uh, the, the material uh, underneath uh, the whole trick here is uh, uh, to uh, make uh, make a gap between these two leaves uh, I will uh, tilt this to the left a bit uh, make it white and then I will copy this shape uh, but with the undo button uh, I will undo this change but in my clipboard since I copied it uh, we have the, the white shape uh, uh, still uh, in hand and uh, only some final uh, final uh, operations here left um, yeah uh, I believe uh, guys uh, that we are at the end of this tutorial uh, uh, thank you for watching uh, I really uh, hope that you find uh, uh, this stuff uh, useful that I was talking about uh, uh, and I hope that I will gain uh, a subscriber or two with this video. Bye bye.